So yeah, super streamers we have the spout output. We've set up the receiver manager. It takes two seconds as you can tell. And uh, now let's just look at editing this material a little bit more. So we want to uh, be able to mess with the UVs on the fly. What we're going to need to do is make some make some flow values that can change our U tiling and our V tiling. So we want a texture coordinate node. We want some constants. We want two constants and we want to convert those to parameters so that they can be changed outside of the material. So this U tiling, this one V tiling. Cool. Uh, and we want to take that and we want to append them. We want to append those and then this append wants to be multiplied into the texture coordinate. And that is going to be our UV. So let's see what we got now. Okay, so we've got zero and zero, so that's not going to be any good. Default value, let's see what we, how we get with a one for each. Uh, let's see how that looks. Cool, so that's our standard. So now, because we have those uh, tweakable values, we could just give this a one and ten of our min and max. One and ten. Now if we go on here, we go create material instance, put that on instead, and in our instance, we could have a little play with our U and V tiling. That's how you might meddle with that on the fly. If you wanted to do something like this, change the size, have multiple, multiple copies, and obviously this goes for exposing any parameters. You could, you could meddle with the emission if you wanted, you could take the texture sample, multiply it, uh, add a constant, turn that into a parameter, uh, emissive, just, you know, chuck that in the emissive. Cool. Uh, and then here, in our material instance, we got some on the fly emissive strength, coolness. Editing, editing that stream material on the fly, very cool, very cool indeed. Yeah, I hope that shows you like the basics of just setting that up, that moving live stream material acts as any other material, you can make tweaks to it on the fly, super quick, super simple, super fun. Uh, next up, next up, next up, um, I'm going to show you just how you can use basically what we've just done, but you can use that emissive as a screen that will then kind of reflect what's playing on your screen onto the face of your avatar. So if you're streaming a game, you'll get real-time screen reflections that are literally the colors of the screen that's playing because it is literally the emissive of the of the NDI or spout stream. So yeah, let's do it.